Hello people, uh, last tutorial video we made an age calculator and this one uh, we're gonna make another one but this one is going to be advanced because we are going to be using the if and else statements. So let's get started and uh, let's do this. So we're gonna need that scanner. So if you didn't watch my last one, make sure you go and watch it. All right, so we're gonna delete that and we're gonna get started. So <clears throat> what we need is one, a scanner. So we're gonna make a new scanner, call this C again, equals new scanner system, sorry system dot in please don't lag right now all right so and we're gonna ask people for their age so we're gonna type in system dot out dot print system dot out dot print what is your age and whatever their age is, I'm gonna save it as a variable called um, integer. So variable type integer and the name of the variable would be my age. Make sure you capitalize the second word and boom, end it. So, and my age is, look how we didn't define what my age is we didn't make it equal to something so we're gonna make it equal to something my age would be equal to sc dot next int okay All right, so and the local variable not used. Don't worry, we're gonna use it. Now we need to calculate. Now, what we want to do is we want to take this, and we want to calculate how many years they have left to uh, drink alcohol. Now the drinking age here is twenty-one. So, we're going to say if, I'm sorry, if my age, this is the if statement, is smaller than or equal to um, 21, then it's going to do this whatever is in here it will do whatever is here okay so if this is true this is a boolean if this is true it will do whatever it is in here whatever you tell it to do else if it's not true if it's false it's going to do whatever is in here okay so if it if if it's under 21 I want to tell him how many years he has left to um, to drink. So I'm going to say system dot out dot print system dot out dot print. Actually, let's do a print line. We're going to say my age minus 21. I'm mean, sorry. I'm going to say 21 minus my age and it's gonna print that okay let's do a print a sort of print line sorry let's do a print all 
All right, system.odd.print, 21 minus my age. Boom. It's going to print um, that number. So I want to say whatever that age is, it's going to say blank, like three more years and you can drink. So it's going to say, so the second line, we're going to say system.out.print line because we want it to skip line after this. I'm going to say space more years. And you can drink beer. All right. And that's how this is going to work. Else, if he's already 21, I'm sorry, it needs to be under. Sorry about that. Not 21, not equal to. If he's already 21, I want to say system dot out dot print line party like there's no tomorrow right and you guys make sure you follow my code and code with con some confidence all right nothing's gonna happen and as you can see we didn't close our scanner so we're gonna say sc dot close uh after this thing, sc dot close, sc dot close, close, and boom. So we close our scanner. Now let's see if it works, and if we have some bugs, we'll fix it. What is your age? actually there needs to be there is a bug um this to this needs to be a print line all right because we wanted to enter the age in the next line so we're going to run it again and it's going to say what is your age we're going to and i'm going to enter 19 and it, it says two more years and you can drink beer right so let's run it again and what is your age and i'm going to enter 24 probably like there's no tomorrow all right, so that's how that works, and this is how the if else statement works. If you're saying if I'm gonna make some, if I'm gonna do something, right? And in the parentheses, these are your arguments, these are your conditions. This needs to be true. If this is true, do this. If this is false, which is the else statement, else do this. Basically, that's how it works. It's pretty simple, and you guys should be fine with this. All right, go ahead and practice. And I know I went a little too fast, but uh, watch my last tutorial and you'll get the gist of things, how things work around here. All right, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe for new videos. And if you have any tips or tricks or anything specific that you'd like to request or learn, let me know and I'll try to make a video. Thank you.